Pretty, I can only imagine how much you have suffered because your face is scarred. But do not let it ruin your life. If you forgive Fancy, you can find peace and happiness. Sorry, Father. There is no forgiveness in my heart for Fancy. She deserves to live the rest of her life in misery. That anger will only cause you more pain, my child. Maybe. But right now, it feels good. Watching Fancy's pain gives me strength. But she has lost the man she loved. Fancy's happiness was destroyed with Luisa's execution. Good. She destroyed any chance of happiness that I had when she scarred me for life. Look, I feel badly for Pilar and Luisa's family, but Fancy is getting what she deserves. Fancy didn't mean to scar you for life. She didn't know there were chemicals in that jug when you were fighting. It was an accident. She was devastated. She's not devastated, not yet. But she will be. When it finally sinks in that Luis is really dead, she will learn what it's like to finally have all of your hopes and dreams ripped away from you. But she is your sister. Can't you find it within you to forgive her? Sorry, Father. My sister is finally getting what she deserves. Honey, are you sure you want to stay and watch this? Your mother's right. You shouldn't have to stay here and witness any more of this horror. No, I'm not leaving. I'm staying with Luis. That fancy Luis, he's... He's already gone. No. No, I can't believe it. He can't be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I tried to say him. There's just nothing I could do. I'm so sorry. Oh my God! I didn't say goodbye. I didn't tell him that I love him. And he, he's in his city. He shouldn't have died, Ethan. Teresa, I'm so so sorry for your loss. It's that stupid blackmail. It was the blackmail, and we'll get him. You understand? We're going to get him. Yeah. Well, this. It's not gonna bring it back, you know. Sheridan, she is the reason that I didn't see him one last time. Teresa, it's really hard to believe Sheridan was the one who tried to kill you. I was strapped into an electric chair, Gwen. Why would she? Why would she do this I don't to you? No, she she said that she had to kill me to save Louise, but you know what? She didn't save him. He's dead, and I didn't say goodbye to him. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. You can do it, John. If you can wrap those idiot prison guards in cotton candy and licorice, surely you can you can bring Luis back to life with the wiggle of just one of your little bitty baby fingers. Listen, it's one thing to teach a person a lesson, and it's another thing to bring a dead person back to life. And Dora can do it. Please. I mean, her powers are strong, not like yours. Uh, Norma. Please leave her alone. Don't put that kind of pressure on her. Well, we're talking about Louise here. I said no. She's too young. Oh. It's not fair. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You're just, 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 just trying to help the guy out. Hey, hey, listen to me. Forget about Louise. We're all going to be cooked if we don't get the hell out of here. There's a bomb upstairs, okay? That was set to go off five minutes ago. You understand? Let it go. There isn't anything anyone can do for Luis now. Sorry, sweet pea. It's too late. What are you doing? Bloody hell, I didn't teach her that. Forgive me for how I spoke before. 
I'm just in a lot of pain right now. I know you work in mysterious ways, Lord. But this seems so meaningless. So wrong. You've given me a lot of miracles in my life. A lot more than I can possibly expect. I feel like dying myself. Just take me. Take me instead of my son! But I won't die. I'll go on. I'll go on. I'll continue to have faith in you. I'll be strong. I will have faith in you, God. Miracle or no miracle. I don't believe it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Incredible! Sweet Pea! You did it! Oh. Louise is alive! Louise came back to life! Oh! Thank you, to a time before the execution. But only in the execution room, everywhere else, time marched on as usual. Oh. Man, these people are nuttier than I thought. Oh, who cares how she did it? Let us all just be joyful, hallelujah, that Luisa's life is saved. You know he was gonna be my son-in-law. You know, and even if Bethy was a nutcase, boy, he was always, always so sweet to her. Oh. And Dora saved the day. <laughs> yeah, well, there, uh, there is still a little problem. Uh-oh, what problem? Well, there's a possibility, Louise. Hey, hey ladies, still... ladies, will you listen to me? There's a bomb upstairs. If we don't get out of here, we're all gonna die. I can't do this. How can I live without you? My son. This is so wrong, Mama. How can God be doing this to us? Luis never hurt me. He never killed anyone. This is supposed to be a country where innocent people don't die for crimes they didn't commit. Yeah, well, I'm sure that happens more often than any one of us wants to think about, Vince. Yeah, but it's not supposed to happen to us. My family's money and power should have protected Luis, but it didn't do any good. I know you did everything you could, Fancy. And so did Ethan, and so did Teresa. We all did everything we could. We just have to have trust that this is God's will. 
He has bigger plans for Luis. No. No, I, I can't accept it. I won't. grown before I got to know my brother and now I'm going to lose him. I'm so sorry, Paloma. I, I know words are useless at a time like this, but, but Luis, he was like a brother to me. He was my father's best friend. I don't think any of us are going to be able to make any sense of this. Oh my God! Father, I, I can't believe it! Believe what? What's happening? I, I'm looking at the monitor in the execution chamber and Luis... Luis isn't dead. Is it dead? What are you talking about? Father, he's alive! No, Luis was executed. We heard the warden pronounce him dead. I know, but I, I'm looking at the monitor and he's standing there very much alive. I need to see Luis's body before they take him away. He's alive. Oh my God. Wait, how, how can this be? Uh, Ethan, you said that the execution was over, you, that Luis was dead. Yeah, he, he was. He was. He's, he's standing right there. I can see he's standing there. But I, 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 was, I was here when he was executed. Teresa, I was, I was here when he was pronounced dead. I don't understand this. How can Luis still be alive when you saw him flatline? I have no idea. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't understand this. God, I just... Thank you, God, he's still alive. <clears throat> Dad, um... What, what, what's, what's happening? What do you mean? About what? But, about what? I mean, Lu Luis was, uh... He was... He was executed. I mean, he was... He, he, he was... he was executed. Ethan, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> he's alive. He's right there. No, he... I, he but, but he was he was strapped to the gurney. I mean, I saw him. Ethan, <clears throat> listen No, I saw him. Listen to me. Rejection. Listen to me. I know you're under a lot of stress. Okay, we all are. But as you can see, he's alive. You're wrong. Dad, I, 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 was, I was here. We were all here. I, I, I saw him get, get, get the lethal injection. I, 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 he was pronounced dead by the warden. I went to go get Teresa. I came back, and he's standing right there. I don't understand what the hell is going on here. Son, I, I think it's like deja vu in reverse. Okay, I've heard about this thing happening. When, when you sense something horrific is going to happen, you project it happening as the way to soften the blow when it really does happen. Listen, listen to me. I didn't, I didn't imagine it, okay? He got the lethal poison in his arm. I saw it happen, and the warden pronounced him dead. I swear to God. So I don't know what to tell you. You can ask anyone in this room. Okay? He was just let in to be executed. <laughs> Poor old Ethan. Oh, he left the room. So he wasn't a part of this rewind in time that Indora produced. And now he thinks he's losing his mind. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily Harper. Passions will be exclusively on DirecTV, and you won't miss an episode if you call 1-888-999-0433 to get DirecTV. Uh, 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 ladies, please listen to me, okay? There's a bomb underneath Kay's bed, and, and it's gonna go off in a couple minutes. Why should we believe a word you say? You're a criminal. We're running out of time. Uh, 
Will you stop it, please? You're scaring Endora. She should be scared because, you see, she's going to die along with the rest of us, you oh, see? That's enough. Come along, pumpkin. We're going to go to bed, right? Uh, no, not another word. You've had quite enough excitement for one night. Listen to me. We're going to be born in Slytherin. Do you hear me? Uh, don't listen to a word he says. Wait. He's a very, very bad man and he's crazy. Uh, ne ne never mind what he said, Endora. And don't you worry about it, okay? We're going to bed right now. Oh. Hey, you gotta listen to me. Hey. Eddie. Sweetheart. <laughs> How'd you like a little hot chocolate take up to bed? <gasps> oh, yummy, yummy for my dummy, dummy. <laughs> oh, could you wish me extra marshmallows on top of mine, huh? I know how you like your cocoa, princess. <laughs> you can have my marshmallows. Oh. You're all the sweets I need. Oh, you always know how to get to me. <laughs> oh, my God, these people are loonier than I thought. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crazy ladies! <laughs> Thank God! I think the attic this whole place closed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Louise. I'm sorry that I couldn't stop this. It's okay. Trace and Dawn, you did everything you could. It's okay, I'm not afraid. Besides, we'll all be together one day. Oh, please, God, don't take him. Please, God. I love you, bro. Adios, Ruiz. Goodbye. I'll see you in heaven, okay? This is impossible. I just saw this happen. Luis? Teresa? You bitch. Yeah, that's right. I'm alive. I, I, I don't, don't even try in a night, Sheridan. You tried to kill me. You are nothing but a murderer. <sighs> this ought to be good. You are my passion for life. Ugh, I gotta get out of here. And I was gonna blame it if those old broads died and I tried to warn them, they wouldn't listen. But you wanted hey, hey, me dead. Hey, 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 Teresa, what is going on here? Why would Sheridan want you dead? Why don't you ask her? She strapped me into the electric chair, and then she flipped the switch. She's out of her mind. Did Teresa say Sheridan tried to kill her? Uh, yes. Well, what the hell's going on? I don't know, but I wouldn't put anything past Sheridan. Teresa, this is a pretty serious accusation. Oh, yeah, you're telling me. I'm the one who almost fried to death a few minutes ago. <sighs> My God. Sheridan really is a crane. Just like her nephew of Fox. Well, Sheridan, this isn't you. You're not a murderer. You've always been the one crane who knew right from wrong. You've always been the one good crane. 
Sharon, why don't you tell us what happened? There's got to be an explanation, right? Tell them, Sheridan. Why don't you tell them exactly what you did to me? I know you're disappointed because you didn't have Spike for dinner, but I've made you a lovely steak and kidney pie. Come along, pussycat. Where are you? Are you hiding under here? Fluffy, fluff. Huh? Oh no. There's a. Spike was right. Spike was right. There is. There's a bomb under the bed. Oh, Get up about it! I told you, you're not going anywhere! God. Help! There's a bomb in the house! Did she say bomb? That's what she said! Oh, 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 oh. I told you, you crazy old heads! Now we're all gonna die! This is unbelievable. Luis is alive. Alive? He was pronounced dead. I know, but I'm telling you, I, I see him. He's alive. That's impossible. Something very strange is going on here. Whatever it means, I'm taking it as a sign. This means I get a chance to tell Luis what Fancy did to me. To what purpose, pretty? Luis loves Fancy. He will not turn away from her because of you. Why, well, bet. When he finds out what kind of monster she is, he'll... He'll want nothing to do with her. Fancy is not a monster. What she did was an accident. This is wrong, pretty. Wrong or right, I'm doing it. I am going to go to that chamber right now and tell Luis. <sighs> when he sees my face, he will know how evil Fancy really is. Tell them, Sheridan. Tell them how you strapped me into the electric chair and then you turned on the power. Sheridan? <laughs> My God, Sheridan's finally lost it. She's insane. Oh, she's crazy. You know what she said? She said that she had to kill me in order to save you, Luis. Save me how? Unfortunately for you, Luis, Sheridan should have finished the job. Chief Bennett, I would like you to arrest Sheridan for attempted murder. Sheridan, is that true? I can't imagine why Sheridan done such a thing. I just wish she would have finished the job. No, no, darling. Ethan's in love with the girl. He'd be very disappointed to hear you say that. Please. What is it with our children and these Lopez Fitzgeralds? I mean, first, Ethan's obsession with Teresa, and then Sheridan falls for Louise probably would have married him if he hadn't been thought dead, and now fancy she's all passionate about Louise. Why couldn't our children just marry people from our world? There's no accounting for taste. Mm, right, look who I'm talking to. You were with Eve Russell. You had a love child, look what it cost you. No. Yeah. You gave up everything for Sam, so as I said, there's no accounting for why we become enamored with anyone. Mm. Well, I'm just glad that Fancy and Louise's wedding was interrupted by Pretty. Where is our other daughter, anyway? I don't know. Sheridan, do you deny trying to electrocute Teresa? Oh, of course she's denying it. But it's okay because Gwen was there. Gwen is actually the reason that I am still alive. She saved my life. Gwen saved Gwen? your life? Yeah, it's unbelievable, right? It was an accident. Yeah, Gwen found Teresa when she was being electrocuted. Gwen grabbed her arm, absorbed some of the electricity, it jolted Gwen back, and her body hit the power switch. She actually turned the chair off. Yeah, that's the only reason that Teresa survived. I can't believe I almost lost another child. First Antonio, now Luis, why has God cursed me so? Oh, Mama, God has nothing to do with it. Gwen, was uh, Sheridan in the room with Teresa? I didn't see Sheridan. I just saw Teresa strapped to the chair. But she's the one who did it. So ask her, Chief. In fact, make her tell you the truth. Sharon, is it true? Did you try to kill Teresa? 
Sheridan, is it true? Did you try and kill Teresa? and it didn't make a dent. I'm going to tell Louise what Fancy did to me. But there is nothing to gain. How do you think this will make you happy? I'm not interested in happiness, Father. I, I gave up that dream years ago when Fancy scarred me for life. Now, I just want to see her suffer. And suffer plenty she will when Louise dumps her, believe me. But he is to be executed again. I think. I mean, if he has not been exonerated, then he will still die. Why make the last moments of his life unhappy, Pretty? Fancy will be the cause of his unhappiness, not me. And then what happens? You and Fancy will spend the rest of your lives hating each other. Why not? Look, I'm just evening the score. An eye for an eye, isn't that what the Bible says? That is not what it means. Revenge is never a good solution, Pretty. Wait, what's going on now? What's going on where? In the execution chamber. Admit it, Sheridan, you tried to kill me. Is that Teresa? Yes, and she's yelling at Sheridan, saying that Sheridan tried to kill her. Sh Sheridan tried to kill Teresa? I, that's what Teresa said. Heavens above, what is going on? I, I don't know. I, I can, <laughs> this is the strangest day I've ever had. First, Louise is executed and pronounced dead, and. Now it's like somebody's turned back time and he's alive suddenly? I, I mean, look at them. They're, they're acting as if he was never dead in the first place. And Teresa's now saying that Sheridan tried to kill her? You're right. It is most strange. It's insane. Sheridan, don't you have anything to say? Oh, she knows what she did. Chief Bennett, please arrest her right now. Well... I need to know exactly what happened. Just give me the facts. I told you, she strapped me into the electric chair. Then she turned on the power. And I would be dead right now if Gwen hadn't accidentally turned off the power. Okay, Sheridan, um, I know what you're capable of doing to me because you think I took Luis away from you, but why would you want to kill Teresa? I don't understand any of this. It's all pretty unbelievable. Hmm. Sheridan? Why? Why would you want to kill her? What has she ever done to you? Nothing. Then why? Sheridan, of all the people who'd like to see the last of Teresa, you're certainly not one of them. I don't understand why you do this. She said that she had to kill me in order to save Luis's life. But how would killing you save Luis? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. Sheridan, say something. Tell them, you lunatic. Tell them that you electrocuted me. Sharon, it'd be a good idea for you to say something. It's Teresa's word against mine. 
Nobody saw me do it. Sheridan. Are you going to say something? I, I, I will, Sam. I, I will. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin the execution. I expected Dr. Russell to be here, but since she isn't, I have called for a backup physician to uh, sign the death certificate. Where's Eve? She was here earlier. Well, I'm quite sure I don't know. Oh, God, no. No. Yeah, I, no, I, Louise. I love you, Louise. Sonic. Louise, I, I can't lose you. Why is this happening? It's happening because I'm making it happen. Stay tuned for more Passions. Miss an episode? Watch Passions online anytime. Plus, read Paloma's blog only on NBC.com. This thing's about to go! Oh, and Laura, and Laura, we have, we have to get rid of this bomb. This bomb. So we need you to do some magic fast. Fast, zap some magic. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Five, four... Dory, you saved us again. Yes, you did. You are the greatest. You're magical, Wendy. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 get back here. Get back here. You're not going anywhere. What? We're not finished with you yet. No, I did not buy a log. <laughs> Help me. Pretty, you have not been back here in a long time, so you're not aware of the strange goings on here in Harmony. What, like a man coming back from the dead? Exactly. Stranger things have happened, and I feel an evil presence here. Who's evil other than Fancy? No, she is not one of them. But I tell you, there are evil forces here in Harmony. What about Sheridan? The aunt I know would never in a million years threaten somebody's life. I mean, she's not capable of murder. You would be surprised what a person is capable of once evil has taken hold of them. What, like someone being possessed or something? Yes, something like that. Pretty, don't allow evil to take hold of you. Don't try to destroy Fancy's life. Don't try to come between Louise and Fancy. If the execution is to go through, let Louise die in peace, knowing that the woman who loves him was there for him. Let Louise die loving Fancy. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. I don't get it. We've already been, we've already been through this. Louise. I love you. I love you too. I always. This is weird. You mean it feels like we did this before? Yeah. The same guy. You feel it too? Yeah. Weird. This isn't over, Sheridan. You are going to jail for what you did to me. Sheridan, don't leave town, all right? There's a few questions I need to ask you. you to get rid of her. I did. 
she should be dead by now. I tried, didn't I? So please stop this execution. How? I think at this point it would take a miracle. Well, you'd better come up with one. Because if you don't, Teresa's gonna have me thrown in jail. And if that happens, you are toast. How? You wouldn't tell anyone I ordered you to kill Teresa, would you? If it stops me from going to prison, yeah, I will. I thought you were smarter than that. You're the reason Luis is being executed, aren't you? And I'm not the only one that knows that, am I? Well, it doesn't matter because no one's gonna tell, including you. Now, why would I protect you? You are letting Luis die. Well, I told you to get rid of Teresa, but she isn't dead. So, I guess you'll be the next one to be laying down on that table for the lethal cocktail. You bastard. Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, you are about to be put to death by lethal injection as ordered by the state, having been convicted of crimes against the state. Do you have any final words? No. I'm innocent of the charges. I've made peace with God. And I've said goodbye to my loved ones. You may begin. I'm Emily Harper. Passions will be exclusively on DirecTV, and you won't miss an episode if you call 1-888-999-0433 to get DirecTV.